automated email sequences. So email is one of the most powerful tools available to help you grow your business online. And most business owners do not take full advantage of it. And automated email sequences is by far one of the most powerful tools to help you get to know your audience, help them get to know you, and to sell on autopilot. So you can have emails in a sequence set up to help your audience get to know you. You can send them your most popular blog articles. You can ask them a question of like, hey, what is the most pressing problem that you have right now that I might be able to help you with? Respond to this email and let me know. If you're growing your email list, what happens with that is every day someone is sending you feedback on how you can help them better. So that helps you create content for your blog, for social media, YouTube videos, helps you improve the products and services you have, and it builds a relationship with that audience. And that can all be done on autopilot. The next thing to sell through an automated sequence. So for example, someone could sign up for our YouTube masterclass, get an hour of free training, and then we could have an automated sequence that basically talks about a premium course that we offer beyond the free masterclass. And so those say five emails that we could send out beyond that kind of go through different things. Maybe the frequently asked questions, here's the benefits of the course, here's what other people are saying about the course. Hey, the offer you have runs out at midnight you know, don't forget to sign up for our YouTube course. All those things can be just done on autopilot, which helps you build your audience, build trust with them, and have more sales for you more consistently. So ConvertKit is by far our favorite tool for email marketing. We've tried a bunch of them over the years. It's very intuitive, easy to use, and also really, really powerful at the same time. ConvertKit does have a free plan up to a thousand subscribers. You can send as many emails build landing pages, do all the stuff you'd want to do, except for the automations. Basically, any email marketing software is going to make you pay for automated email sequences, if it's MailChimp or anybody else. ConvertKit is obviously not any different, but if you want to try ConvertKit's you know, full plan for free for 30 days, check out the link down below in the description. So this is our affiliate link. We may earn a small commission if you decide to choose and pay for a paid plan but at no extra cost to you. So with all that said, why don't we hop on the computer and I'll show you how to create your first automated email sequence. Okay, so if you've created an account for ConvertKit, it's gonna look something like this. Maybe you don't have thousands of email subscribers, but if you're just getting started, this might be a little bit advanced. We do have a beginner's tutorial that I'll link to up above right here if you wanna check that out. There's also a video on how to create landing pages, so that's a good way to grow your email list and then send them the automated email sequence that we're gonna go through today. So within ConvertKit, to do that, what you want to click on first is Automations. And then from there, what we're going to create as a first step is a sequence. Then click on New Sequence and give it a name, um, Best Email Sequence Ever. Create the sequence. And so this is the first email. So a lot of times what we do in ConvertKit is the landing page or the form sends out an automated email immediately. So for example, to deliver the YouTube masterclass, it would be done that way. So that's the immediate first email. And so generally the sequences are gonna be kind of a day later. So what we're gonna do now, is so you can see it's kind of already set up that way. So what we might say here is what you think of the masterclass. You know, some of the great things here you can say, hello, and then you click on here, personalization, you know, add their first name, you think, which tip will you put into practice first? Obviously I could write something much more advanced than this, but you kind of get the idea. So what'd you think of the masterclass? One of the important things as you're creating the sequences, you're gonna want to go, if this is something that's ready to be sent out when someone signs up, you're going to want to go through and publish each one of these. Obviously, it's not going to send it to anybody at this moment, but as soon as someone is added to the sequence, which we're going to take a look at in a little bit, one day after that, they're going to receive this email. And so this is the email one day later. Then we may, then let's add another email and say, I have an offer for you. Obviously, I could be much more eloquent than this. Want to buy our course for $200. Obviously, this isn't something I would actually send to anybody, but for the sake of kind of showing you how this works. One of the other things to keep in mind here, so if this were kind of creating an offer for our you know premium paid YouTube course, this would be the offer for it. But the thing is, if someone has already purchased this course, 
I do not want to send this, this email. And so that's where the filters come in right here. So I could go to add filter and then instead of not all subscribers, say subscribe to a tag and then that tag. So student YouTube. So student of our YouTube course. If you have already purchased the course, I'm not going to send you an offer for the course. Add filter. Okay. So if someone has not already purchased the course, they're going to get this email, you know, want to buy our course for $200. Then, you know, I want to follow up with additional material. So I might say, here are the benefits of our YouTube course. And then, and you kind of get the idea. And what I would want to do is, you know, add the same filter, publish this, publish the one that I forgot to. So this would be sign up today, tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, here are the benefits. You know, then maybe there's the R free questions about our course. So then I could go through here are the FAQ for, you know, common questions people have for our YouTube course published. And then so I, I can just continue going on and adding, you know, email after email. And so one of the things here, so let's say the frequently asked questions was actually the last day of this offer. And so what I might want to do is um, say, here's your last chance for this offer. Then instead of sending it a day later, I may want to send it several hours later. So we have it set up, I'll show you in a second, to send at 10 a.m. So all of these messages will be sent at 10 a.m. But instead of saying a day later, or you know, I can obviously say, you know, 50 days later. But what I could do here is say eight hours later. So one would be at 10 a.m. and then this one would be at 6 p.m. And so don't, so I could say, you know, don't offer goes away at midnight. Okay, so this one would be sent eight hours after this one here. So that could be the entire one, two, three, five, emails that we have promoting our YouTube course. Then you can go into settings and there's a few other things that we can change. So we can send the email as Laura, my business partner, or as me, Jeff. You can have different kind of email templates. You can say, hey, do I want to send sequence email seven days a week? Send them around 10 a.m. You know, the other thing is if you wanted, for whatever reason, to exclude certain people of your audience, even if they signed up to get this, you could essentially exclude them here. Then you can choose, hey, do I want someone to be able to sign up and receive this sequence more than once or just once? And then here's kind of a bonus thing that they added as well, where if you set up the automation, which I'm going to show you in one second, if you have these five emails and then it's seven days later, they've already kind of finished it, it basically kicks them out of the sequence. But what you can do here is say, should these people should stay in the sequence. So after they got the five emails, I might decide to add a sixth or an eighth or some other email afterwards, and I could do that. But if you have this on no, they finish the, the five emails, they're done. And if you change the sequence and add stuff later on, they won't get those emails. So if you make any changes here, what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down and click on update the sequence. So the sequence is all set as far as the emails. Now what we need is a trigger to kind of kick off that sequence. So let's go back to the automations tab. And then what we want to click on is new automation and then click on create automation. So you can either have a form or a landing page. And so if someone signs up for that, you can have that be the trigger. You could have a purchase. You can link your purchases to from different sales pages. So with Teachable, for example, where our courses are, you can link purchases there to ConvertKit. If you add a tag to someone, so if someone clicks on something, you can add a tag. If someone signs up for something, you can say, hey, add a tag. So let's say with this, we would say YouTube Masterclass English. So if someone, this tag is added, which means that basically here's the landing page. Once they sign up here, they get the email with the masterclass and a tag is added, which is the one that I just put here. And then you click on add event. So this is the thing that kicks off the automation. Then what you want to say here is what is the action? Do you want a delay of, hey, wait five hours, then start? Do you want to add a tag or remove one? Do you want to start an email sequence, which is obviously what we want to do here? 
And then so what this we're going to want to do is click on best email sequence ever and then add action. What we have now is someone signs up for the masterclass, tag is added, then they start to get these emails. So you can make this as long, as complicated as you want. So I could click on plus and then go to condition to say, if the, you know, if this tag, then do that, then send this sequence. There's a whole bunch of advanced features that I'm not going to get into for today's video. Another thing to kind of think of, so what happened in each of those emails, if at any point someone makes a purchase and they purchase the YouTube course, they're not going to get the rest of the sequence, but then you're going to want to add a tag to that purchase and then have another sequence for that. So someone that just paid for your course, you're gonna be like, hey, how's the course going? Hey, have you checked this out? Here's some other things that can help. You know, let me know if you have any questions or comments. So you can create a whole nother sequence when someone purchases. They're basically taken out of this sequence and added to a new one. Oh, and one last thing so you can easily find this in the future is don't forget to give it a name. So to kind of go along with the rest of it, best, automation ever okay so now you have the best email marketing sequence and the best automation ever so in a matter of minutes we created an automated sequence to sell our youtube course it's really that easy you can write out a sequence of emails decide how far apart to send each one of them decide if there's any reasons to kind of kick someone out of the sequence and then decide what is the trigger event that gets the email marketing sequence started if you want to learn more about email marketing, we have a whole playlist to help you with that. I'll link to that right here. If you want to see our beginner tutorial for ConvertKit, I'll link to that right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.